Hello dancers, my name is Veronica. I'm coming to you from Dallas, Texas at Image Ballroom Dance Academy. Today we will be covering the flick ball change in international style jive. Let's go! Let's take a look at the footwork for your flick ball change in your international style jive. Now stay tuned for further in the video because I'm going to give you more advanced opportunity to make this step look very energetic and very competitive if you like to do that. So let's take a look at both sides on the right and on the left. The flick ball change can be done instead of your rock step in jive. So you can use that on either side. For the side on the left, you're going to place your weight onto the left foot. The right foot is free of weight. You're gonna flip the left foot, the right foot, excuse me, in front of your body diagonally across. So it's a flip in front of the body. You're going to take the right foot to the side of your left foot, drop and step onto it, and replace your weight immediately onto the left leg. So you have a kick in front with your right toes, then you have the ball of the right foot, and then you replace the weight onto the left. So we have right, right, left, right, right, left. Let me face you so you can see it in front. So you would do kick with the right, right, left. Kick right, right, left. That is your kick ball change. Now let's take a look at the opposite side when your weight is on the right. This might be more appropriate for the leaders as they start with the left foot a lot. So we have weight on the right, the left foot is going to kick across the body, the left ball of the foot is going to come to the side, you're going to step onto it and then replace the weight onto the right. So we have kick with the left, step onto the left toes, replace onto the right flat foot. So we have left, left, right. So let me take a look at the other perspective. We have left, left ball of the foot, drop onto the right. Left, left ball of the foot, drop onto the right. So a little quicker would be kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. And with the right foot, kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. And that is your footwork. Now let's take a look at the timing for your kick ball change, also known as flick ball change. So we're going to use the one a two timing. Let's start with our weight on the left foot first and we go. The kick is going to happen one, you're going to step onto the ball of the foot up, replace the weight two. So we have forward one, ball of the foot up, two, one, up, two. And the opposite side, we have the kick on one, one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two. Let me turn around for another view. And we have the kick on one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two. Opposite side, one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two. And that is your timing. Now I'd like to offer you some information, especially if you're a beginner, of how to make your kickball chains more successful. First things first, let's take your weight onto the left foot. I would like you to imagine that the head is floating on the spot. You're not going to be actually shifting your spine onto either side. You're going to leave it very, very still. So especially when after the kick, when you place the weight onto the right ball of the foot, do not shift your head onto it leave it over the left leg. So you go one, ah, uh, two. So notice on ah, uh, it's only my hip weight going to the right. Again, one, ah, uh, two. And that way you'll be much more successful to land. Now let's take it the other side. And one, this is the wrong version, ah, uh, two. Not good. We want to keep the head over the right side now. One, Ah, uh, two. Make sure just the hip weight goes out. One, ah, uh, two. 
The other tip I'd like to offer you is dropping your weight down on the even number on the two and really releasing the weight to the floor onto a flat foot. So those are accents and jives, the even number, so you want to drop down. So you want to go one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two. The other side, one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two. And then another perspective, and one, a uh, down, one, and down. Make sure that knee is nice and flexible. And the opposite side, one, a uh, two, one, a uh, two. And those are just some suggestions for your basic leg ball change actions. Thank you for staying tuned all the way until the end of the video. So as I promised, I'd like to show you an advanced version, a more competitive, or if you're doing showcases version for your kickball change. So we're going to have a few actions, a slip action, and then bringing the knee up and retracting it up to your navel. So before I'm gonna do a side view, I'm gonna start on weight on the left. Before I actually going to kick, I'm going to slip my left foot back. I'm gonna kick as I lower my left knee, and as I bring the right ball of the foot to the side, simultaneously, my left knee comes up and then drops down. So I have a slip, a one, a two, a one, a two. And let's take a look at the other side. Wake on the right, slip first, and then knee comes up on the count up. Start in the bent leg, a kick, ball chain, a kick, right knee up, a kick, ball chain. So practice that if you want to really make it more competitive for your jive. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope it was useful information for your flick ball change. Please subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos to come.